And yes, so, but the Nigeria Association of Resident Doctors, they don't call on the Cardinal State Government to make a reverse the continuous deduct of salaries for doctors plus health workers and where they serve for the state. I want to be the young with exclusive interview with Plus TV Africa, the president of the association, Dr. Sokomba Aliu. Yan say the state government, they currently cut salaries of doctors and other health workers with 25%. Dr. Aliu, when he mean they describe the action, say it did very, very illegit. And it comes to the state government to reverse this matter sharp, sharp, and make them refund all the before deduction and with them being done already do. The governor of Kaduna State proceeded to sack to, to reduce salary of doctors and other healthcare workers by 25%. This is on a background fact that they were not even getting 100% of their salary previously. It was 62%, but with his further slash by 25%, we're getting something around 40% of their about of their salary. We have asked the governor to reverse back to the 62 percent he was paying them without this slash in their salary. This is not the time to cut people's salary, especially healthcare workers who are attending to patients in the middle of a COVID-19 pandemic. When these doctors clamored for the reversal of the slash in their salary, the governor threatened to sack them should they continue to clamor for their rights. They are essential workers and the healthcare workforce who are on the front line battling COVID-19 are a crucial part of this essential workforce. And they went to work all through the period of COVID-19. But what happened? At the end of the month, the appreciation from the governor who himself got infected and was treated by this same health workforce within the state, his appreciation to the health work workers was for him to illegally and illegitimately deduct 25 percent out of the 60, 64 percent which he was already paying them. And this is not just unpleasant, he went further to misinform the public, saying that the workers were the ones that agreed to donate 25 percent of their salary. 